Well, I think it's mail time again. Hope everyone's doing well out there in YouTube land. First out of the box today, I think this should be a pretty interesting one. Oh, good, good, it did arrive. This is a magnetic stirrer. This is for some lab experiments. I'm hoping, um, I haven't used one of these since back in, uh, back in biology in high school. And uh, I'm just lazy now and I don't want to have to stir things by hand when I don't have to. So you normal jack, uh, what do we got? 12 volt, one amp, nothing to it. And for the price, I really hope this works. I was gonna build one, but then for the darn price of it, um, it was pretty much cost-effective to just go ahead and buy one. Check that out. That That's my magnetic film that allows us to, to visualize the magnetic field. And hopefully the camera is picking that up. If we slow that right down and let it come to a stop, look at that. We have a north and south pole. If I roll the dial up that is spinning so if we add in our magnet that's actually this is magnetic too interesting they're both magnetic so we've got a magnetic field there and here and if we go ahead and give ourselves a nifty little something to stir <laughs> look at that no more stirring manually like a sucker for me. So I've got some lab experiments planned coming up on the channel, I hope. Uh, if you're interested in them, hopefully you are, like me. Uh, pretty much um, anything that can make the world better, I, I take great interest in. So uh, budget lab equipment? Yes, please. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. I'm really actually quite happy with that. So once you overcome the the resistance you can kind of dial back there we go I'm just gonna leave that and let it go very cool this episode made possible in part by PCB way check them out at the link below for all your custom printed circuit board needs they offer numerous services of different styles of PCBs even assembly and parts supply next up we have what have we got? These are some BNC connections. These are BNC to SMA, if I remember right. I have a very specific project for uh, some radio stuff that I need these for to plumb into my frequency gen and my scope. It's a handy dandy. Can't make them for the price they sell this stuff for online. Straight out of China. Handy dandy. I still have a video upcoming on uh, El Cheapo logic analyzers, but uh, I have another project in mind where I wanted some of these nifty little grabby grab uh, connection makers. <laughs> I'm sure there's a, a proper name for these clip leads, but uh, there you go. Any little package of them, nothing to it. Next up, uh, I don't even think I'll bother pulling these out of the packages. You've seen them before. These are the Arduino Pro Minis. Uh, looks like I got three of them. Uh, are these Pro Micros? I'll post it on the screen here. I don't even remember which is which anymore. I always get the two confused. Anyway, uh, I know I grabbed these I th uh, for... I'm pretty sure I grabbed them for a upcoming uh, keyboard emulation project. This is a handy little XT60 buck converter. Uh, USB output, 
nothing to it. Um, up to 26 volt in, so you can use a variety of different packs and output to USB. So I can use my USB soldering irons or just charge my phone, whatever, in the field from my LiPo packs or lithium ion packs that I use in my quadcopters or my aircraft. So handy, uh, it's easier to just buy them like this than it is to make them. It's the same price, so it's actually cheaper. <laughs> Don't have to spend my time making it. I used a couple of capacitors, so I got two assortments. Uh, I don't really need two complete assortments of these caps, but now I have them. When you're paying for them, if you're paying for shipping, you might as well grab two. Nothing to it, there's the, there's the values. A couple weeks ago, I my father needed a LDO voltage regulator and it just, I went to replenish the couple that I gave him and I thought, well, I'll just grab a whole assortment while I'm in there of the different voltage levels. So these are the TO92 style, the 78L05 through L15. So you can check out all the different values available, um, all the different voltages. It's, uh, if I remember right, it's five volts and up. And then uh, the 3.3s I already have separate. So handy dandy. These are something, that I have not needed yet and probably won't need for a little bit. These are different value attenuators. These are SMA attenuators. Uh, you can use them for um, going in series with an antenna on the, on the SDR, on the HEC RF to attenuate the amount of power going out. I got all the different values right up. Oh, there's a whole assortment of them here. So I'm in good shape. Um, when the time comes that uh, that I need to, um, to attenuate on the transmitter, I can. Uh, like I said, I don't need these right now, but uh, the time will come. Real-time clock modules. Uh, I'll have to put the model number on the screen because I always forget it. It's a 107. Uh, it's the I squared C ones that I'm familiar with that I've used on my projects before. It's hard to get these with the lithium battery nowadays. I had to really search to find the ones that actually come with the, the lithium rechargeable 2032. And I'm kind of debating whether they actually put a rechargeable, if that's even a rechargeable cell. But I've used this real-time clock in all my projects before and I've had good luck with them. So I like to stick with it. I have my code set up for it. So when I just clone from the edgy case or actually this code's running right here right now, this is the, um, the urban kitchen garden project because I'm going to be using that urban kitchen garden down there. Uh, it's one of my Hackaday prize entries from way back when. I'm going to use that for some of my lab equipment uh, tests coming up as well. Um, I want to grow some stuff in it again. I want to do some kind of space experiments with it. So it's a it's a modular grow system that allows me to grow anything anywhere. But uh, uh, long story short, back around, real-time clocks allow me to keep track of what time of day it is for the lighting cycle for the plants. Handy dandy. Got a whole bunch of small metric screws, caps, screws, and uh, and nuts, and all kinds of nifty stuff for small 3D printed projects, putting things together. I'm always hunting for small machine screws or bolts, uh, really small stuff, so there we go. Got a whole assortment. That's it for the mailbag today. Throw a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos, if you like these projects, truly appreciate it. Become a Patreon uh, member down below if you want to support these. Uh, lots of fun projects coming up, busy times. So you're gonna see a lot of videos coming out on this channel. So hope you enjoy them guys. Cheers.